So the grant, we received it from National Science Foundation, NSF. So this is for the research experiences for teachers. So basically, the teachers will come here uh, in our university at Tamuk and do research with us for six weeks. And then after, when they're doing the research, they're going to also develop curricular modules. Those modules, they're going to go to their schools and implement those curricular modules there. So the broader idea is to uh, create a community with the university, the school districts, and the industry so that we can all uh, help each other share the knowledge and work together to advance the STEM education in, the, in South Texas. And part of it is for the teachers to come here, do research with us, develop curricular modules, and then take those curricular modules to their schools and implement those in their schools and then disseminate those research and curricular modules to others in conferences and places. This has been an amazing experience. We learned a lot. We did a lot of uh, hands-on activities. We did research that I can take back to the classroom. We created a curriculum module that I can use with the students. The graduate student created a physical model that we can also use in the classroom that's going to be beneficial and on top of that this program is going to give us money that we can spend on this curriculum because a lot of times school districts don't have the funds to spend on materials for classrooms. They're providing us with a lot of money that we can use to push these STEM activities in our classrooms. So this experience definitely gave me uh, insight into how research can be done at the collegiate level or academic level period. Uh, because I didn't really get to do that myself and so I'm able to really relate that to my students more effectively than just guessing and then that also gives me some insight into the different kinds of software that could be available that I could have my students practice with uh, especially something uh, like Microsoft Excel which you know some people might blow off as just this random application on a computer but I can see that it has a lot of good application. I think this experience is going to be super beneficial in the classroom. One, I walked away having developed a curriculum from scratch which not, doesn't always happen in the classroom. Sometimes you use other people's curriculum and just modify it. So I got to see this whole other side of curriculum development and then it was based off of research that I've done that with my partner on my own and so it was super awesome because now we have this hands-on experience that we can go back and tell the kids like yes I know this especially when they ask you those questions, why do I need this? What's the point of this? Well, here's where I used it, here's how it went. And then in the science aspect, um, it's like, here's what I did, here's my first-hand experience of using the scientific method. It was fun, it was hard, here was our failures and successes and how to handle them. This is something maybe you can do. And so it's very different when you're the one doing it and then you can also show them versus, oh, let's talk about what jobs people do have. Now we've kind of done it too and we can give them that first-hand uh, experience. I think the biggest way this experience helps in the classroom is to gain the perspective of what's needed for the students to be successful if they pursue engineering. And so the ability to process large amounts of data, the understanding of basic physics and science principles, engineering principles that they should be front loaded with at the high school level so that when they get to college, they're more aware of how to do stuff and they're not daunted by the amount of information that they're working with.